All right, today on our pancake swap tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove liquidity. And this will work actually for any mining pool, no matter what platform it's on. The steps are very similar. Now, I was farming uh, some obscure tokens using a, something called Vapor and WBNB. I pulled out of that farming platform. And just to recap, if you're farming, is when you take your liquidity tokens and you deposit them. You can do it here for cake, for example. You, all you do is take your liquidity tokens, you add them. As you can see, I have some cake BNB liquidity tokens. You click add and you'll have liquidity tokens. If you purchase equal amounts of cake, equal amounts of BNB, you click max and then click confirm. And then you're going to be earning some additional tokens. So here I'm earning additional cake and I can harvest that if I wanted to right now, not worried about that right at this very moment. I want to show you how to remove liquidity. So you'll come to trade, you'll go to liquidity. Now it's not picking up, if you're using common tokens, it's gonna show it here. It's not picking up my liquidity because one of my tokens is Vapor. Vapor is a very new project. So what I need to do is I need to basically import it. It works just like this. WBNB. And then I gotta select the token. The token's not here, so I need to find the token address. So what you do is you come to BSC scan you can search vapor. You got to know what you're doing. This is the right token. Click copy. Got to make sure you have the right token. I know the volume of the token, all that stuff. Click add. And then you can vapor. There's my liquidity right there. So now I want to remove the liquidity. I had to come back and click on liquidity and then I'll drop the down arrow, click remove max. I'm going to click approve, sign that, then click remove, confirm, click confirm. close. Now I actually want to sell my vapor back to BNB, sell my vapor tokens. And if you go and look, you should see the BNB tokens are there. And I don't know if the vapor, yep, there's the vapor tokens right there. So now I want to sell those vapor tokens. Go back to exchange, select vapor. Cause I've previously added it. It's going to show up there. Give it a minute to load. Oh, there it was. Sometimes it does take it a minute to show up, but I'm going to change it to vapor. And I'm going to sell to auto token. That's a whole nother token for a whole nother time. I'll be doing a video on the auto token here soon. Click swap. By the way, I want to point out something. See where it says liquidity provider fee? This is the fee that people get for being in the liquidity pool. That's why they're there. Click swap. If you get that error, you just got to increase slippage. And I did know that about vapor as a deflationary token. Sign confirm. And now I'm sold for auto tokens and it doesn't show it here. Probably if I click refresh, it'll show that my vapor is gone. And then I have 0.2 auto tokens, which is awesome. And now I'm totally out of the liquidity pool. Now, if you want to find out more information about auto finance, how I'm earning about one and a half percent per day right now on auto finance, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, and click the like button if this has been helpful for you. Pancake Swap is awesome. I highly recommend you use it if you're on the BSC platform, Binance Smart Chain platform. Hey, thank you so much for watching. This is Crypto Wealth. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. I'm out.